It's Pelair today from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the camcorder effect in After Effects. Before we start the tutorial I just want to let you guys know that we have a VHS pack which is very similar to the effect we're going to be making today and we have a discount code for it which is going to be VHS and when you apply that you will save $10. Let's get right into the tutorial here. So we're going to start off by importing a clip we want to use for this. You're maybe already in your project and you want to add this effect here. We're going to start off by pre-composing that clip. So as you guys can see, I've already pre-composed my clip here. But after you have pre-composed, you're going to be duplicating your clip here. So Control D and you're going to move the upper clip one frame forward, just like that. And after that, on the upper clip, we're going to add an effect called Venetain Blinds. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> and this effect basically makes that kind of line effect on the sides of everything when it moves. And I really think this fits the camcorder effect here. We're going to start off by setting the transition compression to 50%. So it looks something like this now. And we want to turn this to the other side. So we're going to set the direction to 90 degrees. Just like that. And to me this is a little bit too thick lines for me. So I like to drag down the uh, width a little bit to 5. So now we get this instead. I think it looks better. This is how your clip looks now. Already pretty clean. After that, we're going to make a adjustment layer. So Control Alt Y, and you're going to be adding the effect mosaic. And here we're going to set the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks to 400. And this is basically gonna make the resolution a little bit worse, so it looks a little bit more realistic. And now to really get that kind of like old camera look, we're going to be adding a adjustment layer. Control Alt Y, and we're going to add fast box blur. And here I'm going to set the blur radius to 1, and that should be good for the uh, uh, fast box blur. After that, we're going to be adding the unsharp mask effect. And this effect basically makes these kind of like small black edges to the image, which looks pretty cool and, and will really bring out that retro style. I'm going to set the amount to 300 to really make that pop. After that, I'm going to set the radius to 4. As you guys can see, it's really starting to pop now. This is the difference. Looks pretty clean. And also a pretty retro effect we're going to be add adding now is the add grain effect. And we can start off by changing the viewing mode to final. After that the only difference we're going to make is changing the intensity to 2. And to get a little glitchy style to this we're going to be adding wave warp. And here on wave type we're going to choose smooth noise. Set the wave height to 7. And change the direction to 0. And set the wave speed to 4. And if you want, you can change the anti-aliasing option to high. So the quality becomes a little bit better. And this is the look we're getting now so far. This already looks insanely good, but now we're going to change the format a little bit. So it looks uh, even more retro. <laughs> so you're going to be pre-composing this whole composition here. So mark all the layers, right-click, pre-compose. And here we're going to add transform. What I'm about to do now is pretty optional, to, depending on what kind of look you guys want. But I'm basically going to... Uh, stretch the image now, which I think looks better. I'm basically gonna set the scale width to 115. Just a little stretch there, looks cool. And then you're going to be adding motion tile. And here we're going to set the output width to 70. So we get these black bars here. And this is basically the look you're getting now. It's pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. And as I told you guys before, we have a VHS pack on our website. And I'm basically going to show you guys the effect you're getting in, in that pack now. And uh, yeah. I mean, it looks insanely good. So uh, let's see. And this is how it looks when you open the project file. It's called the VHS Super Glitch. And here it's very simple. It says everything what you're going to do here. In this composition, you're going to be inserting your clip. Uh, in that composition, you can see the output for the rendering. So that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to be adding our clip here we had before. This one here. And then we're going to go to the output for rendering and see the ending result, basically. And yeah, that's basically how you make the effect. You just drag and drop super easy to use and if you guys don't maybe like some of these uh, flickering stuff here overlays here you can of course just go into the vhs glitch composition here and just change with the other vhs overlays you got from the pack and make a new look you think looks super cool and yeah that was the tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video guys and if you guys want to step up your editing game check out our website editingvisuals.com which has a lot of effects in this kind of quality here it's really really good we have spent a lot of time making these effects here and uh, yeah i'm pretty proud of them if you guys like these effects check out our website don't forget to check out our socials join our discord server and uh, i will see you guys soon take care and uh, have a nice day